be here and uh, to have uh, the, what I can say now, the first uh, board meeting of the Galaxy Backbone this year. Uh, of course, because of uh, the issue we already know, that is the issue of the COVID-19. And uh, I'm also very glad to express my appreciation of uh, the SGF, uh, despite the short notice, as well as the huge responsibilities uh, the SGF has in his own hands. He was uh, able to grant us uh, this uh, a time for us to be able to have this uh, particular meeting, which is very crucial. Uh, the meeting actually is going to be a board meeting, as I earlier said, as well as uh, the annual general meeting of the Galaxy Backbone. Uh, it's uh, very apt and uh, it has to be done actually within this time frame because of the fact that uh, the, the, the company is supposed to file in a, a report with the, uh, with the CAC uh, before the end of this month and already we are in the end week of the month. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm so grateful to, uh, to the SGF as always. I can remember when I first resumed uh, the office uh, I rushed down to, uh, to come here uh, and uh, the SGF uh, opened uh, his magnanimous arms to receive me and uh, ultimately uh, we, we, on several occasions he has been providing uh, uh, advices on the, the best way we can move forward uh, for Galaxy. So thank you so much uh, SGF for for all the support that you have been giving the company. Uh, we are so grateful for that. Thanks a lot. To of Galaxy Backbone Limited and directors of the board, uh, directors in the office of the secretary to the government of the Federation, let me welcome you to the 34th meeting of the Board of Directors and also the seventh annual general meeting of Galaxy Backbone. And let me thank the managing director and the management of Galaxy Backbone and by extension the Board of Directors for successfully running the affairs of Galaxy Backbone Limited since your appointment and assumption of office. I remember when you were appointed and you came to pay me a cut visit. I assured you of my support and my cooperation because of the strategic role that Galaxy Backbone was playing in the provision of telecommunication infrastructure, internet infrastructure for the country, and particularly for the government of Nigeria. Little did we know then that COVID-19 was going to impact the entirety of humanity and the entire countries and continents of the world, creating a total disruption of the systems and norms that we were used to. We've been forced to transit and gravitate towards a new norm. And I remember when we were sharing your aspirations and your future thinking of where you wanted to take Galaxy Backbone to, you would have wondered if those thoughts were inspired. Because today we are confronted with a situation that if we did not have Galaxy Backbone, probably the functionality of government would have been seriously disrupted. 
or would have been totally dependent on private enterprises to provide the services that have caused to always us the Minister for Communications and Digital Economy to provide. Because of the infrastructure, modest infrastructure that you have put in place, we can now, through video conferencing, hold our meetings. Uh, uh, this year, the last fake meeting that was physical, was sometimes, I think it was the one of the 18th of March. Since then, all the other fake meetings, as well as the one that we'll be holding tomorrow, will be virtual. Very few of us will be in council chambers with the president. But all the other ministers, except those that would be presenting memos or those that are statutorily important when it comes to decision making that the president will want to refer to, uh, particularly the Minister of Finance and the Minister of uh, uh, Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, who is the chief law, law officer of the country, that he would want to ask for uh, inputs at any given time finance because it's uh, uh, money matters a lot that you need to consult, especially when it comes to contract memos to see if the funds are available uh, for those memos to be allowed to pass through. If we did not have that infrastructure, it would have been very problematic. And we've continued with several of these meetings. Yesterday I was with the president at the ECOWAS Extraordinary uh, Summit of Heads of States and Governments. It was virtual. It's because of the infrastructure that we have put in place that we are taking advantage to continue to conduct government business um, uh, with slight uh, um, inconveniences, but still government has not abdicated its responsibility in terms of uh, making sure that the apparatus of government is not in any way uh, disrupted. So you can see the significant and strategic role that you have. And that's why when I got the notice of this meeting yesterday, or when was it? Was it on Monday? Oh yeah, it was yesterday. It was on Monday or Friday. I agreed that we should hold the meeting because I know that if Galaxy Backbone works very well, it means that even with the new norm or the new normal, government business will continue to run unabated and with little or no hindrances. So it is very, very important that we hold this meeting and we also chart a new course because of the additional responsibility and the burdens that have come over you. I just, uh, we are preparing now to hold the National Council of State because there are certain decisions that the, nation, uh, the Council of State, where you have the former heads of states and presidents and the former chief justices and the 36 governors in attendance. And uh, we have to depend on you. As a matter of fact, I've done a letter already to the Minister of uh, Communications and Digital Economy to make sure that all the invitees to these meetings who would not be able to come in person as much as we want to make sure that we safeguard our aged statesmen, that your platform is made available to them from their various locations so that they can log in and participate in the meeting as if they were there physically. So going forward, if you ever thought that you were on the wings, now as a company, you are central, you are strategic. What that does to you is that it puts additional pressure and demand on your infrastructure and on your performances as an organization. Because as a government, we will not 
allow you to slip into any form of complacency because we are going to be totally or we are totally dependent on you for the provision of the infrastructure that will keep government activities running. COVID-19 took the wall with a storm. And the way it is going is not likely to abate very soon. Unfortunately, I wouldn't say it's fortunate because it's been one of the most tasking jobs that I've ever been called upon to do. I'm charged with the responsibility of chairing the presidential task force on COVID-19. And looking at the figures and looking at the statistics and the ascendancy of the figures, it does not look as if it's going to go away soon. So this period of interruption is not likely to seed very soon. So it means that you would have to now deploy every resources that you have, every skill to ensure that you operationalize your activities in such a way that efficiency is very, very important and also the value that you bring to the act of governance should be very, very clear. And as your chairman, I want to give you the assurance that I would support every course that will help you achieve the objective of which the government set up Galaxy Blackboard. So I think with these very few remarks, I will welcome our new additional board members and the new ones that have joined, particularly the one from Jigawa. We had, uh, uh, we had uh, discussed his uh, nomination at the last meeting, but uh, he was unavoidably absent. Uh, the new representatives that have come from the other uh, boards that are represented here as institutions. And I want to thank you and I wish you a very, very successful meeting. And with these very few remarks, I would want to uh, put on record our congratulation to one of the members of the board, I think it's Topia, that became a permanent secretary. Uh, uh, let it be on record that the board of Galaxy Babon wish him well in his new position, and he will continue to be a friend of uh, this company uh, wherever he has been called to serve. With these very few remarks, uh, I now declare the uh, 34th meeting of the Board of Directors of uh, Galaxy Barbon uh, open, and I call it to order. The meeting is called to order. Thank you. Thank you.